Hey, what's up everybody, Mike Wienenbach here. Um, question, weak body part training, more volume, less, what should I do? So the question is often, hey, my, 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 my chest doesn't grow or my arms or whatever, um, should I do more volume exercises? And the traditional answer is yes, do more. But that really doesn't make any sense because you probably have been doing a lot, the exception being calves, um, and it hasn't worked, right? So the reason why that body part is not growing is the inability to contract it, right? So unless you get to the bottom of that, it's not gonna work. So as an example, especially right now, people coming out of lockdown, you know, shoulders elevated from the computer, they can't, they can't train chest, it's just not possible, right? So if you throw more and more stuff at those people, you're just gonna get injured. So the first thing is you need to get a picture of what the muscle does and how you can contract it, okay? If you don't know that, then you simply don't have a chance in hell to ever make progress. So for the pecs to do this, right? Then you have to see if you, without weights, can actually contract the muscle. And from there on, you find one exercise that works for you, one and you get really good at it. And then you add a second one. And then it's more, not so much, what can I push, but can I feel the chest or whatever it is that you're trying to train at all times? So, you know, I'm doing my lats. Can I actually contract here, um, my quads, whatever the case may be. But if you are unable to do so, then all the volume in the world won't help you. So the first thing is you need a mental picture of that muscle, right? What does it do? And then you need to know that you have the mobility, not flexibility, but the mobility to train the muscle. So what, does that, what is the difference between mobility and flexibility? So if I go into a cable fly, I can open up like this through the flies, right? But that's flexibility. But my mobility will be like I pull out just about to here, flexing my lats, so actively stretching my pecs. So that's two, that's mobility. Then comes the actual tension slash, can I flex it, you know? Can I do this without other muscles taking over? And then from there on, I can venture into other exercises such as upper chest, lower chest, pressing and so on and so forth, without having the triceps or the deltoid to take over. But just simply throwing more stuff at the muscle, well, this hasn't worked for you for years, right? So it's just gonna create the same negative outcome. So you always, you always gotta de-learn what, what you think you know about training this particular muscle and, and recondition yourself in the sense that how do I contract it? How do I actively stretch it for like your, your, your bicep, right? You wanna, flex the tri actively and now my bicep is fully stretched, that, that would be mobility. And then you work on a contraction. And if that is all in place, then you can go into adding volume, adding drop sets, adding more weight. But only if you can feel insert muscle that you're trying to train all the time, all right? So the traditional approach toward weak body parts training to throw more volume we're probably not gonna work for most people, okay? Instead, go back to the drawing board, get a mental picture as to how to flex it, work on your mobility, and then work on execution, my God.